Hi, everyone. Uh, I've gotten a few questions, requests about this. I talked to several of you in class yesterday, but um, questions about making your contours. Once you've manipulated the landform uh, using Artisan uh, and regraded your site, we're asking for you to generate uh, proposed contours so that you include those on your plan. Uh, you don't need to include those in your 3D model renderings, but uh, on your plan drawing. So there's two plugins in SketchUp to make that really easy. One is uh, Make Contours by uh, TIG, and the other one is uh, Curve Wizard by Frito6. And I'll just demonstrate those. One actually makes the contours, the other one smooths them off so they just look a little bit better. So the only prerequisite for using these uh, plugins is to be able to group a surface together. So I actually group this entire landform together, but it's probably quicker and maybe even a little easier if you just use the subgroups. The contours don't have to run through the steps. Um, you'll end up getting some anomalies in there that'll look kind of weird. So it's actually probably better just to grade the soft surfaces, put the contours on there. So I just opened this main group up and now each of these is a separate group. So I'm going to do this one and this one and show you how this works. So select the group. Just go to the extensions menu and look for contours. And the dialog box simply asks you for the contour interval. What's the vertical spacing between the contours? In this case, I want one foot. Click OK. If you have a small um, area like this and a, and a fast computer, you won't see much. But if it's a bigger one, you will notice in the progress area down here that there will be calculations happening. So don't be impatient. Just wait for it to finish. Once it's done, you can see that uh, it's creates a, a contour group that now is separate from the other ones. That's why it looked a little bit grayed out. So I've got the contours, but you can see they're a little geometric, and that really just has to do with the fact that uh, it's based on this gridded geometry, triangulated mesh that's underneath there. Uh, so they, they work, they're accurate, but they don't look quite as nice. So the way to get around that is to open these contours up and use the Curve Wizard plugin. You can also see that these are individual segments, which makes them a little less desirable to work with. So what I'm going to do is just do a Control A to select all of them, pull the uh, Curve Wizard up, and you can see it gives me several options here. And uh, the first one I'm going to do is use Make Curves, and this simply welds them together gives you a preview of what's connected. I'm just going to press the Enter key. And uh, now when I come in here and click on one of these, you can see it's selecting the entire curve. All those segments have been connected. Uh, now the last step then is to smooth them off a bit. So I'm going to do another Control A to select all of them. Pull this dialog back up. And if you want, you can change the, the options in here <coughs> Excuse me, and uh, make this more permanent. But I'm just pulling it up as I go. Uh, so we're going to use the smooth contours, and this gives me a preview. And you can see these corners, it's smoothing pretty well. A couple of these, it's not. And uh, there's a couple settings you can adjust. One is the, uh, the maximum angle. So you can make this bigger or smaller. Let's make it 45. Uh, it doesn't really change the result that much. This one is the, uh, the average angle. That can have a bigger impact. Um, oops, sorry. Let's do... Average angle 50. OK, I guess that's too big. It goes 0 to 45, so let's go 45. Uh, and you can see that makes it more coarse. So a smaller number is going to give you better results. So I'm going to take this back down to maybe 1. And the interesting thing is sometimes when you run this plugin, it doesn't, it, it's smoothing these pretty good here. So maybe I'll take that back up to where it was, about 5. Uh, that looks pretty good. I'm going to press the Enter key and smooth that off. Um, then I'm going to go back and reselect those curves that still have the sharp corners, run the same contour, and you can see now it's starting to uh, smooth that off. And if I go down to one here, it gives me a little better result. Hit Enter. So if you have to, just run this through. I'm not sure why it doesn't take all those the first time. Uh, but once you do it, you can select that. Oops, I want to cancel out that. You don't want to get the grid. So if you see any of that lines that just aren't working, you know, get out of there, run it again, smooth contours, click on that, and see whether adjusting this, maybe even going down to 0.25. Um, if it's not going to smooth it off, then uh, with these settings, maybe I'll adjust this down back to 20. Um, Click OK. There we go. And now it smooths it off. <clears throat> so you might have to go in and 
and pick those individual segments in order to get it to work on some of those. But in the end, you can get a really pretty nice, smooth result. Um, and again, whatever you whatever you feel like you, you need for this. Enter. Let's pick that again. Smooth contours. There we go. There we go. So you might just have to go back in and once you're done, again, hit enter again. That'll lock it in. And you can adjust those to make them kind of look the way you want to. Uh, so again, one main group. I'm going to open that up, select the subgroup, run contours, one foot contour interval. Once it's done, get back out of that group. This is on the outside. Open that up, select all of them, run the curve wizard and make curves, weld them together. There is a weld plugin you could use, does the same thing, but this kind of automates the connection. And then once you've got that done, you can run this again, do the smooth contours. Uh, so in this case, it's running through doing a little more calculation. And uh, once you're done, hit enter. And again, if I have to go back here, something like that, come back in, smooth it, and it will pick that up. This one, run it again. Here we go. Hit enter. And just adjust it until you get the contours smoothed off the way you uh, the way you need them when you're done. Uh, what you can do is select uh, these contours, select all your individual groups of contours, right click and make a component out of them. We'll just call them contours. Uh, yes, and once uh, it's create once you've created a component, you can right click on that and just choose Save As. And you can save those contours out as a separate uh, SketchUp file. And once you've done that, uh, yes, let's do that. Once you've done that, let's uh, open that. I have no idea where I just saved that. Uh, maybe here. There we go. I'm not going to save that right now. So you can open those contours up. Uh, you can select all of them. And then you can go to File and Export 2D Graphic. Just choose, if you're going to AutoCAD, you can choose a DWG file format. If you're taking it into Photoshop, you can go with a PDF format. Uh, and you know there are some options. You just usually, if you want AutoCAD, you want to go to full scale. Um, if you're going to Photoshop, it's just going to give you a, a PDF uh, image resolution, and you can you can save it as an image if you want and just bring it in and overlay it as a layer. Okay, so that's how you can get them out of there in that form. Uh, if you're going as an image, then I probably would make sure that we're in a top view and that your camera is set for parallel. So that way we've got that uh, uh, orthographic projection in plan view and you can bring that into, again, AutoCAD or send it out as an image file or PDF to take it into Photoshop. And that's how you create contours.